My name is Kim. I am a Filipina and I have been living in Japan for the past seven years now. So um, when I came to Japan, I worked a bunch of jobs. I worked at a factory for three years. I worked as a taxi driver in Tokyo for around one year. And my last position was a bilingual um, customer service representative um, working from home. Because of my background, um, because I didn't have a college degree, I didn't have any work experience. Um, I was just taking random jobs just to be able to survive. And then because I've been doing that for the past six years now, um, I felt that I didn't have this direct career path and I just wanted to change it. And yeah, um, I've always been interested in tech, software development, app development, even before, um, during high school. So um, my first plan was to enroll in a university, but then I didn't really want to wait for like four years just to be able to get a job in tech. That's why I started self-learning how to code. Two years ago, I started enrolling in this free online website called Code Academy, And that's where I learned the basic of coding, um, basic JavaScript. And um, during that time, um, I felt that I was taking like a longer time to learn because I didn't have the discipline and I felt like I was alone because I didn't have anyone or anyone around me doing the same thing. It was, it got kind of lonely during that time. It's actually kind of funny because um, in the beginning of 2021, I met a friend here in Tokyo. And within just one week or just a few days after, I saw him on an ad for Code Chrysalis on Facebook. And I was like, wow, this guy, I know him. And um, this person, I see him as a very successful um, in terms of his career. He is a software engineer working in, in Google. And before that, he, he worked in Rakuten and other small startups. So I really looked up to him when I met him. And so when I saw his face on the ad, I was like, oh, this is awesome. Like, I never knew that he'd been to a coding bootcamp. So I just wanted to try it for myself too. Because I felt like I didn't have enough knowledge for the basics of JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. And um, I felt like if I were to head over, like head straight to immersive, I feel like I would be taking like a very big jump or like a skip. So I just went to start in the foundations first. And um, there is also another reason because I wanted to um, see for myself if I'm really up to the challenge. And because foundations is a one month course, I could play around with it. I could decide if do I really want to commit to this? And am I really passionate about coding or is, it, is this just another hobby that I'll get over? So yeah, um, during the foundations, it was very fun. Um, I had loads of fun and I discovered that I was really passionate into this and I really want to commit and I want something out of this. I want to, I want a career in tech. So when I was in the immersive course, I felt like I was one continent away from my comfort zone. The entire course, I just felt like I was super, super far from my comfort zone. And as day goes by, I am going further and further and further. And I enjoy that. I actually enjoy that. I felt that um, being away from my comfort zone was the best. Um, it was a highlight of my entire year because I learned a lot. Um, I met I met a lot of friends and yeah, that was it. Um, being comfortable is, it's safe 
but then it doesn't give you much you know um being uncomfortable being i mean seeking discomfort is um definitely you feel like you're living you feel like you're doing yourself a favor you feel like you're enjoying life so that's um yeah ever since the course i've been doing the same thing so my biggest challenge during the immersive course was definitely pair programming at the beginning. So um, because I am introverted, um, human interaction scares me. So during my first pair programming, I was super nervous. I didn't know how to communicate. I didn't know how to share my thoughts. And I was I kept on stuttering and it was it was not a good experience um, because I was super nervous. But then, because we did it every day, um, looking back, I felt that pair, pro pair programming is definitely one of the best things um, in the course that helped me with my skills, with where I am right now. Because, um, because of pair programming, I was able to improve my skills i was able to learn from my pair i was able to see how they think and i was able to apply it to myself as well and aside from that because english isn't my first language um, pair programming really helped me express myself more in english and communicate more in english So my code, my code, my code for coding, my goal for coding. <laughs> so my goal for coding for this year is to learn as much as I can. And um, I also want to land my first software engineer role, learn as much as I can, and maybe create some side projects. I have this project that I want to make and maybe sometime I will be able to create it.